I have just finished putting the stripes, the yellow stripe and the blue stripe on sunny days. The first thing was I painted this top part medium blue, bright side paint. Then I painted the bottom bright side white. Then I did a one inch gap. And then I did, this is a yellow uh, stripe from Boat Graphics, Boat uh, US Boat or BoatUS.com. And then I did a half inch gap to this blue stripe. So that's picked up by the blue and the uh, sunny days pulls down there. And now I'm going to go to the, do it on the other side and I'll show you how I put the stripes on. So this is what the other side looks like right now before the stripes and just put on the uh, Game and Inland Fisheries sticker which has to be within six inches of the boat registration number. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the yellow and I'm going to just use the width of the tape which is one inch to create my uh, guide for the yellow tape which I'll apply. All right, I've prepped the boat by using the blue tape, which is the same width as what I want for the, um, the space I want before the yellow uh, tape, which is gonna go on there. And in this area right here, it's gonna be tough, but I'm actually gonna use a hair dryer to heat up the tape to get it to bend around some of these curves. And then you've got a straight, that's not gonna be a problem. And then it's going to come back and it's going to wrap around to the back of the boat. So we're getting ready to put some yellow on sunny days, which is appropriate. This is where I am currently in the job. I started at the stern. I had to make that turn and it's an outside turn. I did have to cut up from the bottom a little bit so that it would fold better around that corner. I also use a hair dryer to heat it. And that also helps with some of the tougher spots. Got a few air bubbles I don't like, but I'll get to work on those. So this is the way I'm going. And when I get to this corner right here, where then I'm gonna use the hair dryer again right there, and again right here, where I have to make these turns. Wherever it's a straight, straight stretch, it's pretty easy. So you can see I've got my marks ready to go, and I'm gonna continue the yellow uh, stripe. Okay, I've progressed further. So I've done the straight area. Now I'm about to get to the curve and it's similar to the way the uh, other decals went on. There's a backing paper which just comes off. And it, the, the tape's pretty forgiving. Um, it is better if you can do it with two hands. So I do have to put down the camera, but you can, and it does, cur you can bend it a little bit or stretch it a little bit. Uh, and what I do is when I get to hard places, I will use the, uh, the hair dryer. And that does help stretch the tape so you can go around some curves. So I'm going to continue on. Okay, here I'm at a very tough spot right here for the stripe. So when I, when I do a tough place like this, I'll pull the tape and I'll heat it up. And I'm going to heat it up with, I can heat it up with a hair dryer, just a regular old hair dryer. And I'll just put it right up against the tape to heat up that tape. And it'll bend around this corner a little easier. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this up with a hair dryer. So I'm going to, so a kind of a combination heating and pulling the tape can get me around this tough area right here. Okay, I went around this corner right here, 
And what I ended up doing was I tried to do it visually instead of by measuring. If, if I'd used the measurements, the yellow would have gone way up here. But instead, I tried to use my eye as far as how it looks across this way. And like I said before, you want to use your eye sometimes better than measuring. And I had to use the hair dryer. And the hair dryer really helps a whole lot heating up the tape and making it more forgiving, especially around tough bends like this one right here. That was a very tough bend. I basically caught this upper line and then I used the hair dryer to heat this up and stretch the tape out and get it into that corner. So now I've just got to come up around this corner and across the bow and I'll have the yellow stripe on. Sunny days. Finished putting the uh, yellow stripe and the blue stripe on sunny days on the port side. I already had it on the starboard side. Did wrap it around the corner back here, right there. Ended it in a nice line. And hardest places were the places where the hull turned right there. So what you have to do is you have to fudge the tape a little bit to make it look optically correct. And that's a tough thing to do. You have to kind of fudge. You can't use your measurements. You have to use your eye to make that work. And then coming along the front. Still need to finish painting the bottom, the white. But it's coming along. Coming along.